Hey guys, this is Shazwan. So today, I'm going to present my Othello seminar, which I'm covering Act 4, Scene 1, from line 65 to 89. So I'm going to focus on the character Iago, from the theme, the misusage of intelligence, and using the lens psychological. So here we go. We start with the summary. In this particular section in the play, Shakespeare depicts the cunning plan by Iago. The scene starts when Cassio enters. He saw Iago was with Othello, but in strange condition. Iago asks Cassio to leave somewhere else and return back once Othello is revived. Because uh, during that time, Othello is having seizures. So after Cassio left the place, Iago starts having a dialogue with Othello. In his conversation, he asked Othello to hide himself somewhere else while he was talk he talked to Cassio. He wants Othello to observe his conversation with Cassio, looks at the way he talks, laugh and smile when talking about Desdemona. Iago pretend to ask about his relationship with Desdemona, but actually Iago asked Cassio about Bianca instead of Desdemona. You guys know why? Because Cassio had fallen in love with Bianca and not Desdemona. So, uh, Iago used his intelligence, his cunning to make Othello's jealousy become worse. As he thought that Cassio was talking about his wife and believed that what Iago told him before are all true about the relationship between Cassio and Desdemona. So, at the end of the scene, we can see that Othello became very mad and he showed, he gave full of his trust to Iago, uh, and eventually he became Iago's cunning slave. So, this is my line performance. Uh, I will try to do as what in the movie. This is what Iago said in the scene. Good sir, be a man. Think every bearded fellow that's but you may draw with you. That's million now alive. That nightly lie in those improper beds, which they dare swear peculiar. Your case is better. Oh, this part of hell, the fiends are mock to leave a wanton in a secure coach, and to suppose her chase. No, let me know. And knowing what I am, I know what shall be, what she shall be. Stand you a while apart, confine yourself, but in a patient list. While you were here, overwhelmed with your grief, a patient most unsuiting such a man. Guess you came here, I shift him away, and let good skirts upon your ecstasy. Bid him an unwritten, and here speak with me. The which he promised, do but encave yourself. And mark the fears, the gifts, and notable scones, the dwell in every region of his face. For I will make him tell the tale anew, where, how, how often, how long ago, and when he hath, and is again to cope your wife. I say, but mark his gesture, Mary, passion, or oh, I shall say, you are all in all in spleen. And nothing of a man. Let's move to the passage analysis. Let's analyze together. So this is the quotes that I choose. I will make him tell the tale anew. Where, how, how often, how long ago, and when he had, and is again to cook your wife. Shakespeare, Act 4, Scene 1, line 84 to 86. So from the quote above. We can see how cunning Iago is to play with Othello's feeling and emotion. He intentionally wants to manipulate Othello's mind uh, through Cassio, Cassio's behavior when he answers this question. So, as jealousy has dominated Othello's mind, he failed to interpret the real conversation between Cassio and Iago. So, he simply thinks that Cassio was talking about his wife 
uh, without knowing that the conversation was completely about different women. Uh, he does not know Iago's cunning tricks uh, when he used Bianca as a subject in his conversation with, between him and Kesho, which just he used his intelligence to fuel uh, Othello's jealousy and hatred towards his wife and also Kesho. So the way Othello thinks, sorry, the way Kesho responds to Iago's question by smiling, laughing, and talking sweetly about Bianca makes Othello think in a different way that Kesho and Desdemona were hiding their relationship behind him before. So Iago was really smart and intelligent in manipulating Othello's thinking emotionally. He came so here. Othello, uh, sorry, Kesho came out as a super ego for Othello. So Othello fight with ego in himself, whether to believe in Iago or not. But the scene, the scene conversation between Iago and Kesho, uh, makes Othello tend to follow the super ego, which is to believe Iago, uh, because of his scene by himself that. Kesio likes his wife, Desdemona. So, uh, looks how psychologically uh, Iago misuse his intelligence to influence on Othello's action and also feeling. So, here we can see he succeed in playing with Othello's emotion by uh, projecting sadness, grief, and also he enlighten uh, Othello's anger. So. From the scholar articles that I got regarding to a journal by Arnold L. Jessel with total jealousy, uh, it do describe about the aspect of jealousy in psychological context. So here is the quotes. The hate is naturally at its worst. The consequence is that jealousy is an emotion which may be said to disturb the mind of the human being, sway it, tear it in two more powerfully than any other emotion. Jezel 473 So the quotes from the source above claims that jealousy is a very powerful negative feeling. So the article supports that jealousy may control a person's mind and cause them to counteract illogically with the feeling especially after being influenced by the third party. So commonly, uh, jealousy will exist when there is someone has the desire towards someone else. I mean, uh, someone has a bad desire towards someone else. So in relation to the passage from the play, Yago's cunningness and uh, his intelligence has brought to Othello's jealousy. So Iago have a bad intention to ruin Othello's life. He is very intelligent as he know that jealousy going to ruin Othello's. So he bring in the jealousy uh, as a powerful destructive weapon to feed the love between Othello and his wife Desdemona. He believed that Desdemona is the the point of weakness for Othello. So he distract Othello in psychologically way by throwing a negative thought about his wife. So through the conversation, he fully managed to create Othello's suspiciousness toward his wife by his cunning and intelligent tactics and raise Othello's anger towards Cassio. So as what stated in the article, a person who is being controlled by jealousy may act irrationally out of mind, such as by committing suicide or by killing others. So thus, Iago's cunning plans to ruin Othello's life highlights that how he has misused, misused his intelligence in, my, in setting the powerful jealousy onto at Othello, Othello in psychologically way which is to manipulate his mind and influence on his further action. 
so for quotes and connect so this is the quotes from the thousand splendid sun the uh, unit to our unit to novel how much had rashid paid abdul sharif if if that was even his name to come and crush Laila with the story of Tariq's death. Hosseini, page 321. So, from the quotes above, when we connect to the Thousand Splendid Sun, so Khalid Hosseini, he introduced the character Rashid, cunning, to make Laila as his second wife and fulfill his desire to have son. The situation happened after his wife, Mariam, having pregnancy loss. Rashid became very disappointed regarding to on the news of the pregnancy loss by Mariam and he believed that he does not able to have son with Mariam. So, Rashid knew that Laila's love to Tariq was very strong. So, he used his cunning plan by paying Abdul Rashid to make the news about Tariq's death in order to get rid of Tariq in Laila's life. Thus, he will attain sufficient love from Laila. When we look in a psychological context, someone who desperate to get something that they want will show their cunning, even though in negative way. So, projection is one of the example of cunning to achieve their desire. A person that cunning negatively may project their bad thought about one person onto another person to enlighten the hatred between the, these two people. So we can see this situation in the scene from the play where Iago use intelligence, use his intelligence to project his thought about Cassio and Desdemona hidden relationship onto Othello's mind, which is to to bring in the jealousy in Othello. I think that's all for my passage analysis. So let's move to the next activity. For the activity, I want you guys to guess which character match the picture below. Just uh, in 10 seconds. Okay, the first picture. 10 seconds start. Then the answer is Iago. Yes, because he is the devil in the in the play. So let's move to the next picture. The innocent bird. Then the answer is Nestimona. Yeah, she's just like an innocent bird getting killed in the end of the play. Sorry. The next picture, 10 seconds begin. Ten. The answer is Rodrigo. He is the Iago slave. Next, picture of a cow getting pulled by someone. 10 seconds. That so the cow represent Othello. Yeah. So Yago will be the person who pulled the cow. So the last picture is ten second. Then the answer is Cassio, yeah, Michael Cassio. He's the victim of the situation in the play. So that's all, guys. I got. Uh, I hope you guys un understand what I'm talking about. So hope it is helpful for you guys. And I'm wishing all the best. Good luck for your final exam. Bye bye. See you again. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.